I'm Audra Stafford here at the La Jolla Playhouse where Sleeping Beauty Wakes is making its West Coast premiere. You lock me up in a padded room so safe I never feel a thing. It's a fairy tale with a twist. It takes the idea of the original fairy tale, Sleeping Beauty, and examines the idea of what were to happen if the fairy tale went terribly wrong. And the princess pricks her finger, falls asleep, and the prince comes to kiss her and she doesn't wake up. Perfect little princess puppet on a string. 900 years and many more princes oh later, Rose wakes up in a modern day sleep disorder clinic. The other sleep patients are all battling with ailments that are really preventing them from living their lives. For Rose, it's finding that balance between what her father wants for her and what she wants for herself. Cause I made a fire. There's a whole secondary plot line which is actually so meaningful to me about father-daughter, parent-child dynamics. A child learning how to grow up, make their own decisions, wrong decisions, good decisions, and parents having to stand by and learn how to empower their children to become functioning members of society. And it's a really powerful statement, I think. And for Broadway actress and San Diego native Aspen Vincent, a real challenge to play. I tend to be kind of a fearful actress. I like to be in control of what I'm doing. And I don't take a lot of risks in my acting. And that has been something that I've realized in this production that is holding me back. Um, I'm very much like any of the characters in this show. And it's kind of been an awakening for me to realize that I have to allow my vulnerability to come to the surface for me to touch on anything and be able to display it with any sort of human truth that anyone is going to believe in the audience. And I think it's been a huge growing experience for me as an actress. And for the audience? The show is so entertaining, the music is so good, it's so beautiful to look at, the talent is so staggering, this entire cast, and in the last half an hour of the show, we really start touching on some really serious life issues. And I think people have become softened by that point after an hour and a half of enjoying really good entertainment. And so they're open to it. And I think it really surprises the audience. It surprises us every night. I'm in tears every night. <laughs> it, it never gets old. And it's such a gift to be able to touch people through the art medium that I enjoy so much. For BroadwayWorld.com, I'm Audra Stafford.